Hi there, my name is Velmoet and I support online course creators. I'm a tech VA and Facebook ads strategist. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about Pixel Me, which is an amazing piece of software that is going to help you greatly if you want to run Facebook ads. Now, in order to explain how Pixel Me works and what exactly it does, I need to take you back to the basics of Facebook, Facebook ads, I should say. So if you want to run Facebook ads, you need to install the Facebook pixel on your website in order to track who is visiting which pages. So for example, if you're a portrait photographer and you have a course on that topic as well, and you're blogging about it, it's interesting to send ads for your online course to people that have been visiting your instructional blog posts about portrait photography, right? Because you know these people are already interested in the topic and maybe they want to purchase your course from you. So you need to install the Facebook pixel on your blog posts so that you can then retarget these people, as it is called, with your online course. So the information about your course, so they may actually want to buy your course, right? Now, you can only install the Facebook pixel on your own website. But how cool would it be if you could track and then retarget people that are reading other people's blog posts on portrait photography? So there's this amazing person out there that does similar work to what you're doing and they have amazing blog posts about the topic as well. But there's no way for you to target those people because you, know, you cannot put your Facebook pixel on their website. But here is Pixel Me, and Pixel Me actually allows you to indeed add your own pixel on their website. It's not exactly putting your pixel on their website, but the result is the same. So basically, how Pixel Me works is you take the URL of that other website, that very nice blog post about portrait photography. So you take that URL, you put that into Pixel Me. And Pixel Me adds your own Facebook tracking pixel to that URL. Then it gives you a new URL to share on social media. So you're going to share that out on Twitter, on Facebook, and in your email links, for you know, in your uh, email newsletters, for example. And as soon as someone then goes to that blog post by this other person, but they go through your link created in Pixel Me, this person now gets tracked in your Facebook ads account. Which means that if enough people start doing that, you can actually retarget those people. So you can now not only retarget the people that read your own blog posts, but you can also retarget the people that visited someone else's blog post on a similar topic. So that is super, super helpful and so amazing about this tool. Now, let me show you how you can sign up for this. Let's go over to this specific link here i also put that link in the description below this video this is my affiliate link full disclosure i love to be honest and open about that so it means that if you decide to sign up through my link it will give me some small credit so i can then create more of these lovely videos for all of you right so go to this specific link here And you get to this website, URL Shortener for Savvy Marketers. And you can read some more information here about what it does. Here it shows how it works. Serve specific ads to everyone who clicked on a link. So you shorten your URL with Pixelme. So someone else's URL, right? You share it on social media and people start clicking on it and then you can retarget them. Now, I just explained this by using the Facebook retargeting pixel, but you can do similar things for Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google. But because I'm all about Facebook ads, and I do a LinkedIn as well, actually, um, but not the, um, the paid ads. So I'm just going to show you how to do it for Facebook ads, because that's what a lot of people are using. So we're on this page now, and we're going to click sign up here at the top right. If you want to know about pricing first, you can go to the pricing page. And it's not that expensive, actually. You can pay monthly or yearly, and it starts from $10 a month. So if you just want to have one pixel ID, so that would be, for example, your Facebook pixel ID, um, you can just go with the starter plan. It doesn't allow you to have custom URLs as the pro and business version versions do, but it's not that bad. I'm actually using the Pixelme uh, URL shortener myself at the moment as well. And you can have 200 shortened links per month. 
So let's go to sign up at the top right. So on this page, we can sign up for free as it says here. So we're just going to put our full name, email address, company, and then a password. Obviously, make sure it's a safe one. I'm not a robot. And you're agreeing to the Pixelme terms and privacy. Of course, I encourage you to read them. And then you click sign up. So this is how you set up your first Pixel ID. Last pass here at the top right is my password program. So I'm just adding it to that one. So I don't need to remember the password. So what you need to do here, first you select the, um, the Pixel ID for which platform you want to use it. So it's not that you cannot share it on any other of the other platforms. It's just the one where you want to retarget people. So in this case, it would be Facebook. But once I have the generated links, I can still share them out to Twitter, in my email marketing, etc. So I can name my pixel here. I just say, ask Wellmut Facebook pixel. And then here I'm going to enter my pixel idea. And if you want to know how to find it, I will put the direct link in the comments below this video as well. But you can also click here. I'll just open it in a new tab to show you. And it has instructions on the different pixels. So here at the bottom is the one for Facebook. How do I find my Facebook pixel ID? So you need to sign into Facebook Ads Manager and then you will find it here at the top left as shown here in this picture. And then you're just going to copy that long number and paste that into your pixel me here. So I'm just going to quickly grab mine and then I'll be back in this video. Okay, so I posted my Facebook pixel ID in this field here and I click add. And then I can shorten my first link here. So here's a nice suggestion by pixel me. So if you need an idea, you can use this option here. If I click there, this is actually one of their own articles about how they increase their click through rate for Facebook ads. And we can just use this as an example. So this is really smartly done by pixel me because this will probably increase um, clicks towards this specific link, but that's okay. Let's just use it for this video. So you can paste in any URL in here. So this would be the other person's blog post about portrait photography to stick with our example, right? And then we're going to click pixelize me. Then it says, well done. This is your first link. So let's just open this one in a new tab to show you how that works. And this would be the link that you would be sharing on your social media and email marketing, etc. And if people click on it, they will be tracked inside Pixel Me and on your Facebook Pixel. So, so it's not working. Let's open that one more time. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the article, right? Okay. So if you want to read that, you can, but we don't need it for now. So we're going to close it and we're going to go back here. And if we click finish, we would get to the dashboard, but it says still locked, click here. So we're going to click down there because sometimes that finish button somehow doesn't work. I don't know why I've seen it before. Sometimes it just doesn't work, but there's the save button there at the bottom. So that's good. Now, what do we see here? This is basically your pixel me home, your dashboard. So let me show you around what we see here. So at the top, you have your name, the top right, and you can click through to your profile, your account, the general help section of pixel me, which is very helpful to go to if you run into any issues and you can sign out of your account here as well. It shows that there are six days remaining on our free trial. And here is um, a button that also goes to my account. Let's go back here. On the left hand side, we have dashboard analytics, bulk import and settings. And I'll go over all of these in a second, but just to show you what we see here on the dashboard page here, you can select the pixel that you want to use for a specific URL. And if you just have one, as I have here, the Facebook pixel, I just select that one. 
And here I can enter any URL that I want. So this would be this other person's blog post again, right? Or from even another person. And you want to pixelize that website. So in this case, there's another article on Medium by Pixelme. And I just use that as an example here. And I click Pixelize Me. And then you'll see that the link will start showing below in the overview here. So here you have your Pixelme links. On the left hand side here, it shows which pixel you're using. So the Facebook pixel in this case, the title of the article, the original link. So this will help you find the links later on because once you start gathering more and more links, the names here will help you remember which one is which. And then here's the shortened URL. And this is the URL that you wanna share out on social media. So on Twitter and your email marketing, etc. And if you want to copy the link to your clipboard to use it in your emails, for example, you can simply click here, copy to clipboard. Here you can see how many people clicked on that specific link. So on your specific link here, the date when it's been created. And here you can easily share the link out on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or with Buffer. And if you want to delete a specific link, you can click on the bin icon here on the right hand side. If people click on this one, they will get to this specific link here, but it will be tracked inside your Facebook account, which then allows me to retarget those people, right? As I explained at the beginning of the video. If you want to make any changes, there's this little edit icon here. And I can change the title here. So if I want to change it so that I know better for myself, like using some keywords that I can find them later more easily, I can change that here. Um, this is slug and you can change that if you have a custom domain installed. Now I don't show that in this video, but there is instructional material on how to do that as well. And this is the link it's going to. So I can just click save. One thing that's really helpful once you start gathering more and more links is this search function here. And it helps to, from the start, really make sure that you have keywords in the title so that you can easily find those links later on. Because right now it's only two, but if you start gathering hundreds or thousands, it's going to be really hard later on to find the right link if you want to share the shortened link with people. On the left hand side, we also have an analytics menu. And there won't be much to see right now, but this gets more and more interesting over time once you start gathering more link clicks. So it's worth it to come back here and look at the different um, areas. So you can see countries, devices, browsers, uh, operating system and pixels. And you can set the um, time here as well. So watch for the last 90 days, 30 days or seven days. There's bulk import. If you wanna import, more than one URL and you don't want to do them all manually, you can just copy and paste a list of the URLs here in this box and make sure to just enter one URL per line. And then there is the settings area where you can add new pixels. You will find the pixels that you currently have. You can add your custom URL here if that's part of the plan that you're on. You can add team members and there is API code here for you to use if you want to integrate it with other programs. I'm not going to go into details about that here, but you can find it here just so you know. So then at the bottom left, there's the billing section and again, a link to the frequently asked questions. And there's also this nice chat icon here. So if you have any questions, you can just start a simple new conversation and either use the help center or send a message here and they'll get back to you with help. Now, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Make sure to click the link in the description below this video to sign up using my affiliate link. I would highly appreciate that if you do use that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up start to follow my account here on YouTube and I'd love to see you in my other videos.